All right, what is going on everybody? We've got the Lexus GSF here. I've been able to spend a week with it. We are gonna do a test drive here, give you a little point of view action, let you get a good feel for this car and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Cool thing is, just like some other products, we do have the, uh, the steering wheel and the seat that will move for you if you want it to. The V8 sounds really good in this car and uh, we're gonna do a combination of city driving, highway driving, um, some spirited driving, some calm driving, a little bit of everything. And I won't talk too much. If you wanna see a full review of this car, please be sure to check out my channel. I'll put a link up as soon as that video is up. Uh, I'll put it up a little bit after this video. We're gonna start off in normal mode here. One complaint with this car is that the steering the steering feel is not what you would expect for a performance car. It's pretty precise, but it doesn't have the weight that you might want. I'm gonna keep it in normal getting on the freeway here. <laughs> that back end even wanted to slip out a little bit with traction control on. Even in normal mode, you can get going pretty good. One thing about this car is it's not as quiet as I would have expected for a Lexus. I get that it's a performance sedan, but it should definitely be quieter than what it is. In fact, uh, the last vehicle I was in, the last two, the Kia Sportage and the Mazda CX-9 were both quieter than this. But enough of that, let's get back to the driving. We're gonna get on a ramp here. As we merge here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport mode. Torque vectoring differential is in standard mode. The car grips pretty well. I was honestly expecting better. I did have a decent amount of slip in some portions of my test drive. Brakes are also pretty good. Got some Brembo's here, front and back, six piston in the front. Oh, that intake sound, that induction is priceless. Definitely manufactured uh, in, a, in a sense. Let's test out these paddles. Go ahead and move the lever to M. got a 7100 rpm red line it's pretty pretty cool hearing that blip there there it is wow 467 horsepower 389 pound-feet of torque definitely an engine that you want to rev out Don't get quite as much pull as you would expect in the uh, in a gear. Like I was just in fourth gear and at lower RPMs, you don't get a whole lot of pull. So you definitely want to rev it out. I'm gonna put it in eco mode just for a bit. The thing about eco mode is you get a blue, a uh, little blue ring. You don't even get to see your tachometer. I've really enjoyed my time with this car. It's been fun to drive. It's been comfortable. I've got these red leather seats. Even the back seats give you good cushioning. It's got a pretty, pretty nice, really easy, simple, practical layout here. 
The only complaint that a lot of people will have is this scrolling pad here. I do prefer the actual touchpad from Lexus instead of this mouse pad, but once you get used to it, it's not bad at all. You get a really big 12.3 inch screen, which is nice. You can have a split screen or see everything you want. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Like I said, we are in eco mode. Still gives you a, a comfortable amount of throttle. Quickly, I'm watching the uh, gear position thing on here. It quickly got me up to seventh gear. I'm in seventh gear right now going 40. Pretty smooth riding car overall. Definitely has a, a, a tougher suspension uh, when you need it, especially when you put it in Sport Plus mode and adaptive variable suspension will definitely get the most out of those dampers. All right, enough of eco mode. You kind of get an idea. It can be a pretty smooth car. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in Sport Plus. The uh, tachometer changes. It's ready to give you power. Holds the RPMs. I'm actually going to put it in custom where the uh, the power or the uh, drive mode is set to power. The chassis is set to normal. And the air conditioning is set to normal. So it's mostly just for power. One cool thing is we will uh, we will use the torque vectoring differential in a little bit, but it'll actually show you the distribution of torque between both rear tires on your uh, display up here, which is pretty neat. You have a slalom, a track, and then a normal. And with slalom, it's definitely going to be ready to push torque to whichever wheel you are cornering with. In track, you definitely <laughs> probably get the best of everything with the uh, output and uh, balance. I'm gonna put it in track and I'm gonna go ahead and put us in Sport Plus. Like I said, we're in Sport Plus, track mode, torque vectoring differential. Competitor with some of the vehicles that you might want it to be, but it's still a fun car, a nice offering from Lexus. All right, we're gonna get it out of Sport Plus, we're gonna put it back in normal and uh, the torque vectoring differential in standard. And we're just cruising right now, but let's uh, get up to speed like we're gonna pass. Just with moderate acceleration there, that was pretty good. And right now I do have active sound control turned on. It's a little button right over here. And really it doesn't seem to make a big difference on the induction noise, but it seems to kind of be more of an exhaust type note. I'm gonna turn it off. And it does get just a little quieter, but it's not as aggressive as the uh, IS and the RC that I have reviewed. Like I was saying, I do have a full review, or at least I will have a full review out soon after this video. Please stay tuned to that. I will put a link in the comments as well as the description and have a little pop-up card as well. There's 
definitely a lot to like about this car. One thing is uh, is that V8, that you still get a V8. It's not turbocharged, it's not supercharged. It's just a good old naturally aspirated five liter V8 with some decent power output. If you want something purely for purely for performance, there's absolutely better options. But if you want kind of the complete package, the, the handcrafted feel, just the uh, the beautiful interior, everything is seems to be put together very well with the performance and the nameplate of Lexus, the reliability nameplate that you get with that, this is an excellent option. A couple of my gripes with this car is, is that the seats, the passenger seat doesn't have the same adjustability as the driver's seat. It's only eight way, the driver is 10 way. Let's go ahead and put it in manual mode, use the paddles. It's not as quiet as I wanted it to be. It's very expensive. This price, this car is listed at about $89,100. I'm going to go ahead and put it in sport mode, just regular sport. Differential is in normal. For being a sedan, it handles very well. The paddles are pretty responsive. Um, like I said, you definitely want to get the RPMs up to get that power, but they're they're pretty quick. They have they're actually metal. They're really nice feeling paddles. Okay, so now I can I can definitely tell a little bit more of a difference with the paddle shifting on the active sound control. I had it off for the last little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. beep that you hear is uh is the car telling you that you're getting close to your to your red line so it was started beeping to look like maybe around 6500 like i said red line is uh, uh i think i said 7100 earlier but it's 7300 the horsepower comes out at 7100 by the way everybody if you are new to my channel thank you so much for watching welcome uh, this is the first time I've done a, a point of view driving experience like this. Most of the time I just have a driving portion included in my reviews and I review cars every single week. So please be sure to check those out. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss a video. At the time of this video, I've been reviewing cars for less than a year and my channel's grown quite a bit and I really appreciate you guys' support. If any of you are GSF owners or any owners of uh, cars in this class or anybody, I don't care who you are, uh, leave some comments down below. I want to know what you guys think of this car and and uh, if you've driven one especially. As I was saying, the handling or the steering is a little bit lighter. It's still pretty precise and this, the Sport Plus does change the, the ratio a little bit, um, but it's not still not a, a heavy feel like you would get some from some other cars but on the flip side it's very comfortable to maneuver it's a very relaxing drive when you want it to be one thing about this at night is it has a little bit of ambient lighting but it really doesn't have a lot and I wish it had some more to give it a little bit more of a luxury feel with that but every material in here is soft touch and just awesome I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport plus again And it really just holds those RPMs like crazy. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. You guys, this 
car. It's so much fun. And we just caught up to an old Lincoln. <laughs> so, uh, I thank y'all so much for tuning in. Even just kind of letting off the gas, Sport Plus is holding me at two and a half RPMs. All right, we lost the Lincoln. just holds those RPMs. And uh, we caught our Lincoln again, so Everybody, that's going to be the end of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. Leave your comments down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see some more reviews every single week. Like I said, I'll put the review of this vehicle down below as soon as I get it up. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.